Hey everyone, I'm Rachel and I have hamsters. And this week I wanted to talk all about Little Laverne. Little Laverne came to me as part of a foster program with a local hamster rescue. And I have learned so much by taking care of Laverne because Laverne is a bit aggressive and can be a bit bitey, but she's also so full of character and so much fun that I felt like it was worth sharing her story to show that just because you have an aggressive hamster doesn't mean that they have to be a watch only hamster. You can still enjoy a really great time with them and get to know them for who they are. Laverne came with her sister Shirley at the end of November in 2020. And here they are in the car ride home back to my place. And here they are exploring their new home. This is a 100 quart bin cage I had set up. I initially thought that I would be getting a single dwarf hamster and then ended up with a pair. So this is why they're in this smaller cage to start. I know housing dwarf hamsters together can be really controversial. But because they came to me as a pair, I decided to keep them together and monitor them closely to see how they were getting on. I later read that the Ontario Hamster Club recommends that for dwarf hamster pairs, you start them out in a smaller cage, about 400 square inches, and that you give them one of everything. So one wheel, one food bowl, one water bottle, and one main hide with two entry points. The point of this here is to make sure that they develop a bond and that they have to work together and be on the same team rather than drawing lines in the sand. This is your wheel, this is my wheel kind of thing. Of course, I didn't know this at the time and this was all accident because I had the cage set up for just one hamster. After about a week, I moved Laverne and Shirley into a 200 quart bin cage. And you can see I gave them two wheels. One is the Zacro acrylic wheel, 8.7 inches, and the other one is the size medium KT comfort wheel. And this is about the time that we began to tell them apart. Shirley was much more comfortable with us touching her and petting her, whereas Laverne would hide more and would swat sometimes if we gave her something. Here is little Laverne hiding away and hoping that we'll give her a treat. And when we did give her a treat, she would quickly grab it and then hop away. Here she is when she's out and you can tell the difference because her body language is a little bit more jerky. And when we would feed her something, she might nibble on it. She'll take it with both hands. But then if we try to pet her, she'll run away pretty quickly. I started monitoring them very closely with my Wise pet cam. And for the most part, it felt like they were getting along just fine. They were both active and out and I didn't see them fighting a lot. And I definitely didn't see any bite wounds or any reason to believe that they weren't getting along. But if I watched all the footage, on occasion, I would see something like this. And you can see they go under that bridge and clearly are fighting over something and one comes out and the other one doesn't come out for a few minutes. And there she is. So this was enough to make me feel pretty uncomfortable with them continuing to live together. Although I do have to say that it was really fun watching them run all night next to each other. <laughs> Look at how cute they are. 
I also happen to catch this really interesting interaction where I believe Shirley climbs up top of Laverne and sort of gives her a little dominance check. And this is the moment I realized that I believe it was Shirley who was the bully and Laverne who was being bullied. So it kind of makes sense that Shirley was a bit more outgoing with us and calmer, whereas Laverne spent most of her time hidden away and would get easily upset and swat or bite. I decided to move Shirley out into the 100 quart bin cage that she started in, and I left Laverne in the 200 quart bin cage. And I immediately noticed that Laverne was out and about more. Here she is having fun in her sand bath. She just was clearly very happy to be on her own and have her own space. Interestingly, Shirley, on the other hand, hid away for a few weeks to the point that we even had to, you know, dig her out to make sure that she was okay. She seemed to be a bit more upset by the loss of her partner. So one way we dealt with Laverne's little bitey nature is by using little plastic cups to interact with her. So I created a play bin that was not her home to eliminate any cage aggression as the issue. And then we used plastic cups to pick her up and interact with her and talk to her and get her used to us. If you have a bitey hamster, I highly recommend that you invest in a good pair of leather gloves, either for construction or for gardening. The gloves I got are elbow length and they are for rose pruning. And they work great for me. They protect not only my hands, but also my wrists. And although I can feel it if she bites, it doesn't hurt and it doesn't break skin. So it works great to provide me with the protection I need to interact with her without feeling nervous, and then I can just focus on Laverne. This is Laverne's current 200 quart bin cage setup. As you can see, she's got a really good wheel and a jar and a very large sand bath. She enjoys those things quite a bit. And then in the rest of her cage, I've got lots of little tunnels, cork logs, coconut hides, and a lot of room for burrowing with some tubes going into the burrows to encourage her to go under. And I think she has been because I see a few holes in there. So I believe she has been using that. She also really loves those boxes in the back with the holes. I don't, half the time she just spends in those little boxes. Laverne also gets a lot of time out of her cage. She lets us know when she wants to get out of her cage by reaching up and sort of clawing at the side. We pick her up and bring her into a playpen and she tells us when she wants to go home the same way. She seems to really enjoy running around and searching for seeds. We always set up hides for her to make sure that she has cozy corners so that she feels safe, but also stimulation and places to explore. We've even been practicing putting her in bare hands, but she still bites, <laughs> as you can see. But overall, she bites a lot less than she did when we first got her. She swats a lot less than when we first got her. And she seems to generally enjoy being around us a lot more. So she's still been a lot of fun to have. And I think if you have a hamster who bites, you know, they may never be a hamster who doesn't bite, but I still think you can have a great experience with them and get to know them for who they are. I don't think that they have to be watch only hamsters. So I hope this video has been helpful to some of you out there who have aggressive hamsters. And if you do have an aggressive hamster and want to share any tips that you found have worked for you, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you again for watching.